What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Apex Legends. And today we received update 1.16. I will link these patch notes down in the description below so you can read over everything. I'm going to kind of hit the high point. So if you want to know all the details, cause there's a good bit of stuff going on with this. A lot of bug fixes mainly. You can definitely click down in the uh, description below and read these for yourself. They fixed an issue where uh, Octane's jump pad would not launch the player sometimes. Fixed a bug where Mirage was able to stay invisible and still be able to shoot while using his ultimate ability. B based on player feedback, they reduced the hum audio on race abilities. Also fixed an exploit that would allow players to remove the cooldown for race tactical ability. They did increase the distance that Bloodhound can see. Uh, traveled clues by some players up to 25 meters and also adjusted the area effect of Bloodhound's tactical to 125 kind of a field of view. Some general things they did to some of these characters were made adjustments to Pathfinder's low profile legend hitbox. I know a lot of people say that he is hard to kill sometimes so they have fixed that issue hopefully. Also fixed a bug where activating a heal item would cancel the ultimate for the legends that needed to prime it. Bangalore, Pathfinder, Caustic, Gibraltar, Bloodhound. Hopefully that has been fixed as well. The weapon changes, the big one that I saw was the disruptor rounds for the alternator. They reduced the shield damage multiplier from 1.7 to 1.55. Also, they gave the RE45 increased magazine size across all tiers from base to epic. And also, they've added recoil across the board for the R301. They said this gun was just not, just not had enough recoil. It was shot way too straight. So, they've given, uh, they've given it a good bit of recoil for horizontal, vertical, and randomness. To me, that's not the best gun in the game with good attachments. It is a laser, but at the same time, it does not do that much damage. So I, I find that kind of interesting that they have done that, but we'll kind of have to play with it and see what happens. Now, they did add a bunch of UI kind of fixes and some bug fixes. Some of these were they added a survey at the end of the game. You will get sometimes to ask if you enjoyed your last match. They improved the UI during the match summary period to show the to better show your battle pass progression. Added a death recap to the end of the match summary that will display a damage summary of your last battle to kind of just to make some of this look better and easier to read and understand. Also, they've added the option to invite the squad in the squad tab. They've also fixed the issue it says where you and your friends will be playing and some of you will go into the lobby when it started and you'll go into the game and some of you will be left behind in the lobby. Hopefully that has been fixed because that is very annoying. Also, they said today will be the limited time mode of solos will be added to the game. So if you're looking forward to playing solos, hop in there, leave your feedback, because I think this is a mode that a lot of people want to see stay around. Octane Town Takeover has been added to Kings Canyon. This is a new town added in. This weekend, from the 16th of August to the 19th of August, there will be double XP for top five and wins. So anything top five or above, you will receive double XP starting August the 16th. A special collection event of Apex Packs and the Crown event is in store now. Also, some other things that were fixed. They fixed the bug uh, kind of causing the incorrect calculation of the KD on your card, player card or player stats. Fixed a bug where sometimes uh, if you're Apex Predator rank, it was not showing players RP correctly. Fixed the issue where daily and weekly challenges would reset earlier than they were supposed to within the game. And they also fixed an issue for Xbox One. If you're an Xbox One player and you have not received your achievement for hitting level fi uh, level 50 in-game, that should be fixed now as well. Like I said, guys, a lot of this stuff was bug fixes, UI fixes, quality of life fixes. Not a whole lot going on with the characters or weapons, but if you want to read over all this, like I said, it's listed down in the description below. Not a lot of talk about the leaf error code or anything like that. I was hoping that some of that might get fixed, but we'll have to wait and see if it's still kind of happening in-game. Of course, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.